Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 2nd of December 2023. How are you doing? Hope you are keeping well, enjoying life, enjoying yourself, keeping fit and healthy as you can. Uh, I'm a bit tired this morning, having uh, not slept very well last night. Well, at least I did it for a couple of hours. I, <laughs> I was so relieved uh, yesterday at learning that my expiry date is not imminent. <laughs> not for a while yet, anyway. I get a bit of a stamp on my hand to say, no, it will last a little bit longer. Put me back in the fridge. Um, and so uh, I was rather relieved at that. And when I got home from work yesterday, I just kind of crashed out from the relief, I think. I slept for a couple of hours, but then I woke up in the middle of the night and found that I could not sleep. And so watch TV all night long. Not a good idea. Well, I did try. No, I did. I really did try to sleep. But the trying sometimes makes things worse, I think. I was making a great effort to sleep and just couldn't quite get it. Couldn't quite get to sleep, but when I'm awake, <coughs> now that I'm awake, uh, I see we've lost our favourite Walter Mitty character. He's gone. He's gone. Oh why? Uh, George Santos disappeared from Congress. Expired? Not actually expired from Congress, but booted out. Pre-expiry date. Um, booted out of Congress for, uh, well, a multitude of things, alleged crimes as well as his lies. Well, the lies I don't think they care about. Uh, it's just that he stole, uh, allegedly stole money from uh, other Republicans. That's something they don't like to, <laughs> they definitely don't like. You can mess with their minds, but not with their money. And... Um, yeah, so finally they... Uh, but still, more Republicans voted to keep him than to, to kick him out. They desperately need the votes, don't they? Um, okay, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, and we'll try to forget George Santos ever came into our lives, shall we? I'm going to start with fours blocking across like this and down here and giving me a four in that square right there. A little four. And I've got fives going up there and across and here. Oh, did I mention this is the Guardian's expert level puzzle? May have, it may have slipped my mind. Well, that's what it is, Guardian's expert puzzle. We've got five blocking down here and across here. So that puts five into one of those two squares, blocking across, five down here, five up there, and five across there. So we will also grab a five there. Let's go on a digit hunt.
I don't know if it's going to lead to anything, but I have spotted one and three block this square. Oh no. Forget that. Oh, I'm not going very fast, am I? Need some inspiration. I think I can hear my cat meowing, as in moaning. He's got a bit of a sore paw. Threes, I'm missing the threes there. Three across here and across here. Um, I'm going to have to take him to the hospital again. It's, it's infected. I can see, so... I'm just going to check, see if he is, if I do hear him moaning outside. Well, I could be imagining it, or he could be moaning outside the window instead of outside the door. He might be outside the house. That's another possibility with my cat. Um, all right. Uh, okay, so one blocks up here, right? So we've got one in one of those two squares blocking across and one up here. And one has to be in one of those squares blocking down, so that's got to be a one, hasn't it? One across here, one up there. There's our one, one this way, one that way. There's a one. <coughs> Um, well, six, I, I'm just exploring things here with you. Six blocks this square here, right? So six has to be in one of those two squares. Then up here we've got sixes blocking across those rows. So we're going to get sixes in those squares. So I do know that six has to be in one of those squares. I don't know how that helps me, but it's something I know. So I thought I'd share with you that information just in case you can telepathically help me 
to say if it means anything or not. <laughs> it might, it probably doesn't. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, in the meantime, talking about sixes though, hang on a second. Six blocks this square. Look, we need a six in this column here. And up there, we're going to have a seven. Seven blocking across there. There's our seven. One, two, eight are missing numbers here. We got one and eight together. That's going to be a two. blocking up there so this is our one and the last number here is an eight we've got four and eight four and eight so that's going to be four and eight the missing number here then five I think uh, one more five to get isn't there more fives down here across and across there we go five becomes our first victim Ah, now, that did come to something. Earlier on, if you remember, I told you 6 has to be in one of these squares, right? Because of the 6s, six, 6 blocking this square, right? So 6 is there, and 6 blocking across there, so 6 is there. So we only can look in those 3 squares. Now, we've got 6 here blocking that square. But look, 6 blocks across here and down there, so 6 has to be in one of those squares. So this can't be 6. So that, in fact, must be our 6. Seven blocking these squares, seven blocking this square and this square, so there's a seven.
Hmm. Finding the last bit rather difficult. I'm just going to colour in the squares a little bit just to see if I can get any help like that. Six is already no. No, eights are a problem. And nines are not much help. No, I'm not getting very far here. It looks like I'm going to change to pencil marks. Um, just one quick second. Oh, are we missing one, three, eight in this row? We are, we are. Okay, we got one and three together. That's going to be an eight then. So eight down here, eight across there puts eight in one of those two squares. Blocking across, that will give me an eight there. Last number to place down here. Uh, four.
still not there. I think I'm delaying the inevitable. <laughs> oh, three eight down here, three eight across there. That's a pair of three and eight in those squares. Okay, got to be something, surely. This is three and eight, so one is in those squares, which doesn't do much. Two, ah, now two has to be in one of those squares there. So this can't be two and two blocks down there, and that will be two. Two blocks across here. There is our two missing numbers here, six and nine. Right. Still don't know which is which, but over here that's not six or nine, that's going to be eight, I think. Uh eight blocking up here, eight across there. There's our eight. And we can get this for sure. Just work out what goes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and so six blocking down there. There's our six. And nine is the last number. And missing number here is two. Up the top here, four will complete the column. Four blocks across here, up here, and across there. That's going to give me a four there. Four blocking down here, down here, and across there. There's our four. The last number to place here is uh, two. four blocks across here there's our four this would be a seven seven across here seven down there there's our seven um still got this six ah oh, there we go got it now six blocking across there there's our six six blocking up there there's our six this would be nine this would be nine nine across here nine down there there's our nine nine up here nine across there there's our nine Nine across here, nine across here, there's our nine. One across here gives me one in that square. The last number to place here is a three. Three this way, three that way, there's our three. Three down, three down, there's our three. One blocks across here, there's our one. Uh, also we got one across here, there's our one. Last number to get here, six I think. Six blocking down, there's our six. Here we need an eight. Eight blocks down here, there's an eight, and this will be two. So that's our guardian um, expert level puzzle over for Saturday. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.